What are we doing? We're tuning into a radio station. Why? Because there's a new one. Hello, Boston. It's me, Agnes, your new pal with a friendly ear and a golden voice. Oh, boy. Come on down to the grand opening of Symphony Station and let's get acquainted. All right, I hate this music. Turn it off. But you don't like the Andrews sisters? How do you know the name of the band? Shut up. <laughs> Symphony Station. Downtown? Yeah, like way downtown. Let's go for the Railroad HQ. All right. Got any new guns oh, for us, I maybe? Hope to God the mm -hmm. Institute doesn't find us here. No, it's just well, it's more. So. Whoa. Excuse me, I'm busy. Oh, it's the Replicated Man. That's the name. That's. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. Yeah, that's a quest for Fallout that, 3. Why is there a scope on that? I don't know why there's a why there's like a rifle scope on there. What uh, loophole? Is it a loophole rifle scope? I'm not sure. I, yes, I, it is, because you can see it's in the bottom right hand corner. It says loophole mark four. Oh, yeah, you're right. It is. Okay. No, you're right. Honestly, I don't remember who makes this standalone chassis for the 203, whether it's Knight's Armament or Lewis Machine and Tool. I'm leaning towards Lewis Machine and Tool at this point, if only because that is the rail-mounted 203, not the barrel-mounted 203, and I don't know if Knight's Armament ever made a standalone chassis for the barrel-mounted 203. Hmm. I hope it goes better than last time. Strong, did you follow us? Your brain must not work, and also, it's not Christmas! It's not- what the- It's February! Get out of that! You know what? Leave him here. The railroad needs protection. Yeah, I know that we're the railroad and we're about equal rights for all, but we didn't mean mutants. <laughs> Some races are more equal than others. I don't remember the sewers. We shouldn't have fast traveled here. <laughs> well, no, we should have because I got an M203 out of it. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to fast travel back because I want to rip the optic off of this thing and see if I can do anything else to it. Oh, okay. I get, just I, I got to find a site that's going to be the least offensive one. It had to be some kind of combat site. I imagine that scope maybe not as good. Oh, there we go. So hey. there, is a, there is a stock. A wide variety of. It's just launching railway spikes. I, yeah, jamming a bunch of old rusty old railway spikes in the end of a grenade shell. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> ah, the makeshift Diddy Bomb. I think it's supposed to say dirty. Probably. Yeah. Naturally diffuses into the air after a time. Yes, because nothing is more natural than releasing a bunch of plutonium dust. <laughs> nothing in nature oh, can do anything unnatural. Oh, you know what I kind of want to do for the grenade launcher? Yeah? Is just replace it with the solid slug. So I'm basically just firing a 40 millimeter... Bullet. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's probably not going to feel good if I hit something with it. That thing in front of the trigger. Yeah, right is that there, a safety? That is the safety. Oh. The, right now, the safety is off on this. When, the sa when it's pulled backwards, it gets in the way, so you can't actually put your finger into the trigger guard. Oh. So that's part of how it, it also blocks the uh, firing pin from moving, or the striker assembly from moving forward and activating it. It does two things. Right. When you equip this grenade launcher... Need something? You actually take the safety off, which is neat, and then when you put it away, they re-engage the safety. Nice! That's, that's a neat little thing. I think they do the same thing for the... Uh, for the MP9, when you put it away, he engages the safety, if you listen. Oh, yeah! yeah. I guess the, the, the good thing about the M203 is the fact that it is compact and you can mount it under a rifle. Whereas the M79, which was the grenade launcher that the army was using before that, is basically the equivalent of big shotgun. <laughs> it's just a big single shot shotgun. Realistically, that's what the M79 is. And kind of the problem with that is now you have this big grenade launcher that you give to a dude and he kind of really can only carry the grenade launcher you can't really carry the grenade launcher and a rifle and the and ammo a for it. and the ammo for all of those up until they had the m203 what they would do is they would issue the guy with the grenade launcher the grenade launcher and a pistol and that was pretty much it and like sometimes they had like buckshot cartridges but those really aren't that effective yeah the reason they're not very effective is because like you're not getting a good seal on the cartridge makes sense um when you when you fire a 40 millimeter grenade the grenade is taking up the entire inside of the barrel 
Mm -hmm. A 40 millimeter buckshot cartridge is basically, it's a shotgun shell you're putting in there that has a bunch of holes in the end of it. And the shot flies out of the holes of the shotgun shell and doesn't actually go anywhere and set. There's no wadding on the 40 millimeter shotgun shell. Hang on, we got uh, Are we in trouble? Are we about yeah, to die? We we're about to die, yeah, we're in trouble. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> Do you mind? I was interested in learning about the history of that firearm. Yeah, so the 40 millimeter, basically, what I'm, what I'm trying to say is the 40 millimeter shot shells for the M203 are effective, but not like super effective. Mm. I don't think they were actually used. So they make another one that's called the Beehive Round. And it basically is a 40 millimeter shot shell that you just jam like 15, 22 long rifle bullets into. Huh. So you're firing just a cluster of 22 long rifle at somebody. <laughs> All right. Um, the 60s and 70s were a weird time, man. Yes. Yes. It was when we seriously considered just taking a submarine and parking it outside of Cuba and projecting an image of Jesus onto the clouds <laughs> that told it, that told everyone in Spanish that they had to overthrow Castro. Yeah, a good, uh... They thought that would work! <laughs> I don't know if they thought it would work, but I'm sure somebody spatballed the idea. They put it on the board. Man, the CIA really had a boner for trying to kill, uh, trying to kill Castro, and, you know... Yeah. Never really pulled it off. No, it didn't really take. So here we are at the station. All right. Let's see what this place is. Aha, uh -huh, it was a metro station. Okay, so it's, oh, uh, okay. What's that, what's that say? Welcome to, welcome to now. What is now? The past is far behind us. The future doesn't exist. Okay, what is, what is all this? Attention passengers. The next red line train to West Roxbury will be arriving in two minutes. Oh no, keep out. Make me. Unauthorized users die to the fullest extent of... Do not hit the F11 key. Nope, nope, nope. So that, well, they needed a single signal ampl amplifier and a noise suppressor and an electrolytic converter or capacitor. Isn't that usually the first thing that gets stolen for drug money? Some kind of capacitor. Well, they need a radio transmitter and a vacuum tube. Still haven't found those apparently. Oh, there's a lot of notes here, eh? Ah, it's fine. We don't need to. We don't need to read those. You're gonna want to turn around, very, very slowly. He's already turned around, though. What's your problem? My problem is the nosy waster poking around in my stuff. Here's what happens next. You keep your hands where I can see them, turn and face the exit, and then leave the way you came in. Is this your radio nicely broadcast? Slowly. How did you get the duct tape and the spool of wire onto that coat hanger? Because it's a solid coat hanger. Did you like untwist it and then put them on there and then twist it back together? How are you s Is that like a bed for a cat? Ah, yeah, small little cot, sleeping bag. I don't know how you would fit in there. You're not gonna talk to us? She's giving us the silent treatment. Kill her. <laughs> Why should I listen to what you say? Because I'm aiming a gun at your face. You call that a gun? Why do you think? That looks like a flare gun. No. Uh. Oh, okay, no, that's a deliverer pistol, never mind. What'd you do? Well, hello there, darling, and welcome to Symphony Station. Agnes, you're awake. Well, of course I am. Agnes is a 24-7 type of gal, after all. Oh, wherever are my manners? Can I offer either you an ice-cold soda while you wait for the train? Or perhaps a Boston Bugle hot off the presses? Or if you're feeling lost in our beautiful new subway station, just ask Agnes and I'll get you pointed in the right direction. Okay, Agnes. Why don't I give our visitor a quick tour of the station? Myself. Well, that would be just fine, young lady. Come on. We'll, uh, start with the bathroom. <laughs> Get a tour of the bathrooms? Um, weren't you gonna try to kill me? I thought we were- are, are we killing each other? What's going on well, here? Agnes told her not to, so... Now, now you're not gonna die. You just listen to what robots have to say? <laughs> Some fun little recruitment posters in here. Yep, this is- Well, here we are. Well, you're gonna you're gonna shoot me. What's going on here? I mean, that pistol's a 32 ACP. You're not gonna do much. No, look. 
two questions. First, who sent you here? That's one question. I heard a radio broadcast asking for help. Nobody sent me. I thought I shut that thing down. She shouldn't be wasting so much power on it. They didn't. Second question. Did you do anything to Agnes before I found you? Did you touch anything? Mess with anything? I don't even know what Agnes is. Yeah, I went into the files and deleted System 32. <laughs> Why? Because Agnes, she... She woke up while you were there. And I was trying to figure out if maybe you'd done something to make her do that. Nope, looked at the terminal, that was it. <sighs> All right, fine. I don't have time to care about that right now. The thing is, I need help. There's something wrong with Agnes. I've been trying to fix her for months, but I keep running into problems. So you want our help, do ya? What's in it for me? Well, I have no idea what Outlanders use for money. What? Wow! But when I first got to this station, I found and broke into an old safe, packed full of pre-war cash. And gumdrops for her. Some reason. Yeah, I don't know why there's gumdrops in oh, this Oh, and either. hey, if I get killed, you can keep my boots <laughs> and my sidearm. They won't fit. <laughs> Otherwise, the cash is yours when we're done. Not the gumdrops, though, if you don't mind. It must be new in town, huh? Not from around here. Uh, you definitely don't look like much of a fighter. Sh judging by the wound in your leg. <sighs> look, I survived long enough to find this place, didn't I? I'll handle myself out there. Trust me on that. You don't know what people use for money. Also, why should we trust you? You just aimed a gun at us! What is this actually going to involve? I'll travel with you. Cover your back when we get into trouble. Why does everyone want to travel with me? In return, you'll help me get what I need to make Agnes better. Sorry, nerd. There's already one annoying hanger-on who's bad at combat, and that's me! I think it's both of us. We <laughs> We're both just hangers on. Who are we hanging on to? Darlene? No, it's like a binary star system. <laughs> All right. What's wrong with Agnes? There are times when she's... We talk to each other. She listens to me, tells me stories. But then... What is her accent? Something happens to her. She forgets where she is. And... Even who she is. So she's not a robot. We're... She forgets me. Like we never even met. After a while of being like that, she'll start to remember her original programming. I'm gonna fix her then. Some kind of pre-war automated assistant or something like that. I'm not really sure. When she fully comes back, she says she was in her dark place and, uh... Offline. The last few weeks, it's been taking longer and longer for her to come back. She's an old computer! That's why I wanted to know if you'd touched or changed anything when you got here. Before now, she'd been gone for almost a week solid. If the usual baton holds, she'll only want to tell you about the weather and things like that. For a while, anyway. What do you think Agnes stands for? Uh, automated, um... A grossly not intelligent system. You came up with that fast. Uh, <laughs> I think it stands for somebody at the government really, really wanted it to spell Agnes. Ah, uh, but Agnes isn't captivating. It's an awful name. It's That's the woman that they were stalking at the office. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Look, I named the system after you. That means you love me now. Automated global network of investigation systems. Hmm. Tell me about yourself. Well, the less you know about me, the better. The shank. I can say that I generally prefer the subtle, quiet approach to solving problems. Ah, you're a sneak thief. But if you're a wreck and rage type, I can help you widen your blast radius too. Ah. 
All you really need to know is that I'm useful when and where it counts. Wouldn't have lived this long or traveled this far if I wasn't. We'll go loud, you go quiet, we'll have all our bases covered. Do you think you can actually fix it? Her. And yes, I can. I... She's not a person, you know that, right? It's just a computer. You don't think I know that? I don't. Look, call her whatever you want. I'm not going to argue with you about it. Okay, fine, I'll help. I have almost everything I need. Dad should get her back up and running. On one of her lucid days, she gave me a list of parts that we'll need. I've gotten all of them, except for two. We saw, yeah. There's a scrapyard west of here. That's the next place I was headed, so I figure we could start there. Okay, sounds fun. And, hey, thanks. Y yeah, you're welcome. Hey, Agnes. I'm going to run out for a little bit. But we'll be back soon, okay? If this is your first time traveling to Boston, you can come out and say hello to me, Agnes. Over some let's... let's just get going. She, she seems like a trustworthy individual. She's incredibly trusting for someone that literally just met me five seconds ago and doesn't know me from anyone else. She doesn't trust you. She trusts Agnes, who trusts you. Agnes has literally zero reason to trust me, and also Agnes thought she was a train station AI. <laughs> oh, I know why it's not working. It's because it's giving me the 40 millimeter grenades for the Mark 19 grenade launcher, not the 40 millimeter grenades for the M203 grenade launcher. Exactly, it's Apple versus Android. They're two completely different ones, and to be honest, you have to try very hard to get a Mark 19 grenade into an M203 grenade launcher. Zach. This is the same game that has generic shotgun ammo. It's true.